everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mel in today's video we're going to be discussing my hygiene routine yes I'm so excited to do this video so without further ado let's get into it it's summertime y'all it's summertime and with summertime comes smells comes odors things of that nature right and you would think that a lot of people would know how to properly care for their bodies, but surprisingly they don't. Surprisingly they don't. Especially like adults, right? Like you would think people that's well in their 20s and 30s would know, but you know, some people just don't be knowing no better. So I'm here to give y'all my tips and tricks on how I stay fresh all day long, no matter what time of year, I'm fresh, I'm clean, I'm all of that. So I'm gonna give y'all my very basic hygiene routine, okay? So I got my shower behind me and the things that I do in my shower is what keeps me fresh, all right? And so my very first tip is I take a shower every day, all right? Now some people, they, they shower every other day, stuff like that, but for me, I'm not gonna let 24 hours pass me by without putting soap and water on my behind. I'm just, I ain't gonna do that. I'm sorry. Like, think about all the germs that's on your body, right? Like, think about all the people you've been around. You've gone to work, you've gone to school, you've gone to the store, you've been around people, you've been out in the mix. You got all kinds of germs, all kinds of bacteria on your clothes, on your body. You need to wash that off, okay? You need to wash that off. Okay, so my very first tip to y'all is to hop in the shower every day. Don't let 24 hours pass you by without you submerging your body in water, okay? Now, as we move forward in that, don't let 24 hours pass you by without submerging your body in soap and water, okay? So the very first thing that I do when I start my shower routine, I thoroughly cleanse my body with an antibacterial soap. Okay, now I know it's real aesthetically pleasing to go in with the fancy body washes and things of that nature. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get you like the aesthetic, but you got to start off with making sure your body, your skin is getting nice and clean. All right, you're cleaning all of those germs off. You're cleaning all that bacteria off your body. And the best way to do that is with an antibacterial soap. So my go-to is the Dial Bar Soap, the Gold Bar, all right? The Gold Bar is a classic bar, y'all. You can't go wrong with the, with the gold bar, okay? So when I went to Dollar General the other day, I found a purple antibacterial bar soap. All right, so it can be, it can be this, uh, it can be this bar, it can be this bar, but make sure you go in with an antibacterial soap, a soap that's really going to deep cleanse you, okay? Now, if you're not that into bar soap, my next best tip for you is to go in with a pure castile soap. So I use the um, Dr. Bronner's castile soap. This one is an almond and I love the scent of this. I got this from Target some months ago and i love this stuff all right you can use this soap for anything you can use it for your laundry for cleaning for mopping washing your hair you can use this for all kinds of stuff y'all but my go-to when it comes to cast out soap is to cleanse my body so use a bar soap an antibacterial bar soap all right now the dove bar soap is fine and dandy i have a dial bar soap all right, I, I love Dove, I love Dove. I have a Dove bar soap, but I'm not gonna go in with this first. 
I go in with this first, all right? And then in your second wash, then you can go in with your more aesthetically pleasing, moisturizing soap, okay? So you can go in with your Dove bar soap or your Caress or um, whatever bar soap you, you gravitate to, whatever bar soap you more so like, go in with that for your second wash. Or you can go in with your Dove body wash. I also like my Dove body wash as well. So the Dove body wash that I've been using is this one, y'all. And I really enjoy this Dove body wash. I wash my body in this. I shave my legs in this. Dove body wash is like the go-to, okay? I've talked about using... um antibacterial soap you can go in for your second cleanse with dove body wash or dove bar soap or whatever bar soap that's moisturizing for you but none of that matters y'all none of that matters if you don't use no washcloth you need a washcloth okay your hands ain't gonna cut it okay your hands ain't gonna cut it your hands ain't washing nothing off Okay, all you're doing is masking the funk. That's all you're doing. But when you go in with a washcloth and you're you're scrubbing, you're scrubbing your body. Now you're scrubbing the, the, the mustiness off of you. You're scrubbing the dirt off of you. You're really getting in there when you're using a washcloth. Lufas ain't gonna cut it. All right, it's the washcloth that's gonna make all the difference, okay? It, it just is what it is. You need a washcloth and bar soap. If you don't have nothing else, this and this will get the job done every single time. You don't need the body wash. You don't need the Dr. Bronner's. All of that is fine and dandy, but you can go in with this two times and call it a day and you will be fresh and you will be clean. I guarantee you, all right? After I've cleansed my body, now as a woman, you have to clean your downstairs area, all right, down below, okay? And the soap that I like to use to cleanse down below, and for me that lasts a very long time as well, is again Dr. Bronner's but the baby cast out soap. This soap lasts forever. It's unscented. It's not gonna knock off your pH balance or anything of that nature y'all. This is such a great soap y'all. It really is. I highly suggest this soap okay. So I've been using this for months and I use this every single night and this is how much it's down to y'all. I love this soap. All you need is a few drops. So get down there, scrub the outside of your downstairs area and you will be fresh and you will be clean down there. Um, this is also a great soap to use um, during that time of the month as well, okay? so. Once you've gotten out the shower, if you're like me and you have very dry skin, you want to go in and you want to renew the moisture back to your skin, okay? Putting on lotion is not just about smelling good, all right? Now, yes, you do want to smell good, but also you want to bring that moisture back to your skin, okay? Moisturized skin is good and healthy skin. You don't want your skin to age prematurely. You don't want your skin to get all wrinkly and get, and you know, just look bad before it's time. You know what I'm saying? So always use a lotion, all right? You go in with whatever lotion you want to go in with. But um, I'm using this Nivea Vanilla Lotion. And y'all, I love this lotion. It's such a light, subtle scent. It keeps me nice and moisturized. I wake up up the next morning nice and moisturized is a good uh, lotion to put on your hands after you've washed your hands Th things of that nature this is a great after shower going to bed lotion all right so if you're looking for a good lotion that's not that expensive that's going to do the job that's going to get the job done that's going to leave you nice and moisturized and also smelling good Nivea is a great alternative y'all also, after you've done that and you put on your clothes and everything like that, 
now you want to start putting on a body spray of your choice if you really want to you know be particular about it find a body spray that's going to match the scent that you use for your lotion all right now i just grabbed a body spray out of my collection but you know i have the summer medley i really enjoy this body spray this is the body spray that i've been spraying on my body this week and i'm really enjoying it y'all it's such a fun summer scent and it is a good body spray to wear at night as well this does kind of match my lotion because this does have a note of bronzed vanilla in it. So this is a really good body spray to pair with the lotion that I'm currently using. So yeah, after I do that, now I'm, I'm good and done with my body care, okay? And also at nighttime when it comes to your hygiene routine, you do not want to neglect your oral hygiene you do not want to neglect that y'all so i might make a separate video for my oral hygiene this is the toothpaste that i use y'all the colgate optic white i really enjoy this toothpaste it's been making my teeth whiter it's very good and healthy for my teeth and i started using this about two years ago and i've been in a chokehold with this toothpaste ever since i love this toothpaste yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am and yes i brush my teeth every morning every night all right so make it your habit of brushing your teeth at least twice a day y'all i know that you know the rule of thumb is to always brush your teeth after every meal and stuff like that but let's be real y'all that's really not realistic for most of us it's really not so I feel like what's realistic for most of us is to just brush our teeth in the morning, at night. At nighttime, really, really, you know, give your teeth that attention that it needs. If you need to go in a second time, go in a second time. You know what I'm saying? Because you've eaten breakfast, you've eaten lunch, you've eaten dinner, you've had a couple of snacks, you know, within the day. So really give your teeth the attention that it needs. Go in with your floss. Go in with your tongue scraper. I have this tongue scraper. I really like it. I get this tongue scraper from Target. So yeah, this is something my mama used to always tell me. All right, what you do in this shower? What you do in this shower? It means nothing if you don't put on deodorant, okay? If you don't use deodorant, then everything you just did in that shower meant absolutely nothing. The deodorant that I love to use is the Dove deodorant and I use the aluminum free deodorant, okay? Because deodorants with aluminum has been proven to cause uh, breast cancer and things of that nature in your body and we ain't got time for that all right we just don't as women we don't have time for that and if we can do things to try to to, to kind of lessen our chances of being a victim of cancer god forbid let's try to lessen our chances so what i use is the dove aluminum free deodorant and using natural deodorants like this aluminum free deodorants like this you will have to adjust to it okay i'm not gonna lie you're gonna have to adjust to this your body will detox and your armpits will feel kind of weird it'll always feel like it's kind of moist or wet but i guarantee you once your body adjusts to this you'll never ever 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 want to go back okay so with this particular deodorant is 48 hours but i would not suggest going 48 hours without putting deodorant on your body okay what I do, I put deodorant on every morning, every night, every day. Okay? Again, 24 hours do not pass me by without putting soap and water on my behind and putting deodorant on my body. It just don't. It don't pass me by. It just don't. So, I make sure I put my deodorant on and I use the really good quality deodorant. So I'm never musty, I'm never smelly. This keeps me fresh all day long. I love this deodorant, y'all. I absolutely love it. 
I'm just trying to put y'all on. If you're, if you're in the market for a new deodorant, you're trying to find a good deodorant, please, by all means, please, by all means, please, by all means, get you some Dove Luminal Free deodorant, okay? I think that's pretty much my entire basic hygiene routine that I use year round, all right? It keeps me fresh year round. After I do my hygiene routine, then I go in with my skincare. But my skincare is a totally different video for a totally different day, all right? Because I'm always adding and taking away from that routine. So, yeah. But, <laughs> but y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this very quick hygiene routine. It's very, 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 very basic, all right? But just to give y'all a good foundation for a good hygiene routine. All right, you can use this routine whether you're taking a bath, whether you're taking um, a shower. Now, if you're taking a bath, I do suggest putting a couple of drops of apple cider vinegar in your bath water so that it just evens out your pH as well. So that's a good tip for if you're taking a bath. Always put apple cider vinegar in your bath water as a woman because, you know, our pH matters, okay? And we can't be letting our pH you know, just fall by the wayside, all right, as women. Amen. That's really all I have for y'all today. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? And I will see y'all next video. Bye.